The technique I'm going to describe and demonstrate is passive infusion. And this is a method where you use a pesticide substance and dilute it and then infuse it into the tree at the base of the tree. Uh, and, you, and the first thing you need to do is go ahead and measure the diameters of the trees. And in general, in a commercial grove, you would probably measure eight to 10 trees, take their uh, circumference measurements, and then calculate a uh, mean diameter that you could use to calculate your rate for the pesticide substance. We have documents online that will help you in your calculations and measurements of the tree diameters, and you can access those at any time. So the next thing we're going to do is clean out at, around the base of the tree and get rid of the debris so that we can see the flare roots and the base of the tree where we're going to set up the infusion equipment. We've now uncovered the flare roots, removed the debris, and you can see there's uh, these large roots that protrude at the base of the tree and there's a perfect example of a flare root on the other side of the tree. And the importance of the flare roots, the reason we like to infuse into the flare roots is because the anatomy inside where the flare roots are allows the test substance or the pesticide or the fungicide that you're going to use to, when you inject it here or infuse it here, it flares out and spreads out along the entire circumference of the tree, protecting the tree as it moves. Our next step is to set up the passive infusion equipment in preparation for putting in the solution. Okay, here we have our passive infusion system. This is the uh, infusion bag that we're going to put the solution in that we're going to that's going to go through this tubing, through the tubing, and then through these infusion ports that we're going to uh, place into the flare roots. So first we're gonna go ahead and detach this and put it around the tree. And we have, in this case, we have about eight major infusion um, ports, and we have eight major flare roots that we're going to make sure that the infusion ports are lined up pretty close to where they're going to be placed inside the tree. Okay, so in some cases, uh, you may only have six major flare roots. So you can actually adjust this by taking it apart, removing some of these infusion ports uh, and making it six infusion ports. Or uh, if it was a very large tree and you had to use 12 uh, infusion ports, you could go ahead and add to this very easily um, with this poly tube and these infusion ports. Okay, now we're ready to set the infusion ports into the flare roots, and I'm going to drill these. The best way to do this is just in one smooth motion so that you don't make the hole too large for the infusion port. As I'm uh, drilling these holes, Armando is tapping in the infusion ports and he's using a mallet so he doesn't damage these plastic infusion ports. And he has to put them in snugly but not so tight or over tight that uh, it may cause damage to the port. We're now ready to uh, put in the solution, the test solution that we want to infuse into the tree. And you want to make sure that number one is you can only uh, infuse materials that are legally allowed to be infused into trees. You need to read the label, follow the instructions, follow the proper label rate. That's why we measured these trees beforehand. 
We're going to be diluting it with water. In this case, we've dyed the water red so that we can more easily see it as it moves through the tubing. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, mix this into the infusion bag. And you wanna make sure that the infusion tubing is closed off. Okay, you ready? In this case, uh, for this dilution, we're using about 32 ounces of dyed water and then the proper amount of our test substance or the substance uh, we want to infuse. Close this off. Make sure it's closed. You want to go ahead and mix it. Place this back up onto our uh, nail because this is going to go in by gravity. Our Mondo is going to be on the other side of the tree. We have at the end of the tubing, we have at the end of the tubing a stopcock. And there's a lot of air in this tubing right now and that would prevent this material from moving through the infusion ports. So he's going to open that stopcock, and when I open this, the uh, substance is going to move through very quickly and push the air out. We will then collect that substance that comes out of the end of the tube and then place it back into the infusion bag. So we're ready to uh, start, and I'm just going to release and you can see it moving through the tubing. Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. All the way? Okay. Now he's gonna bring that over. We'll place this back up, and this is going to go in. Uh, it moves through the tubing by gravity down to the tree, but it's actually being taken up by the tree through its natural transpiration, its water loss. So it's, it's moving in through the xylem tissue, um, and anywhere from, it'll take up this substance anywhere from within 20 minutes to quite a few hours, depending on how actively the tree is transpiring. The nice thing about the infusion system is you can leave this bag. You could virtually leave this overnight. If it's not going in quickly, you don't have to stay with it. You also want to have your mallets with you in case any of these infusion ports start to leak. You can tap them in. You can also turn the system off by crimping the tubing uh, and then uh, fix it and then start over again. So just to uh, recap, this is the passive infusion system. Uh, like this system, number one, it's, it's very inexpensive to make. It's very easy to use. Once you place the system in place, you can walk away from it, come back in an hour, come back the next day. Uh, the downside probably is that, number one, you do need to build your own system. Um, and also, uh, sometimes it can take you know, several hours or longer for, this, for the material to move into the tree. But all in all, this is uh, least expensive of the infusion systems uh, that are currently uh, being used. 
More information about the infusion system, how to build it, where to find the materials, how to operate it, is online.